okay to make them. Somebody wants you to chase them. You, what is that? Be an open channel. Somebody, okay. Somebody wants you to chase them. The song in the background is Chasing by Tink. Somebody wants you to chase them. But you're like, I'm the catch. You need to chase me. Um, I can't trust these niggas yet. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but see, the thing is, this person that wants you to chase them, they're not really worth chasing. Yeah, I ain't chasing nobody. They're not even worth chasing. See, the thing is, this person wants you. They, 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 they're trying to, like, put you through this test. Okay? A lot of these readings I've been getting that people have been testing people. Mostly all 2021. Okay? But this person is trying to test you. They're trying to see... If you're going to stand up for yourself, they want you to open up and find your voice. But see, the thing is, the more and more as you open up and you find your voice and you elevate while you're dealing with this person, whether it's platonic or intimate, they get jealous of you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like them seeing you grow, even though they want to see you grow, is causing some type of envy in them. Now they're looking at themselves as what, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, I'm not doing this. Oh, she thinks she's better than me. I can be in her shoes. I can actually do that better than him or her. I can actually say that better than him or her. I can actually perform that and get that point across clearer than him or her. You get what I'm saying? But in actuality, they've been wanting this. For some of y'all, this is somebody in a relationship. You just wasn't good enough for them, right? So they thought they could test you. Excuse me, y'all. That's my headphones. They thought they could test you. They thought they could, like, manipulate you in some type of way to get you in some type of competition to, like, um, hopefully you will be able to, uh, they thought putting you in this competition, you was going to keep having to work hard to show um, that you're worthy of this new beginning, that you're worthy of them. But see, whatever it is that they did, that it was a bad decision. Two of Wands in reverse. It was a bad decision. It's really supposed to be like this how y'all should see it. It was a bad decision. Yeah. King of Pentacles. You turned out to be the King of Pentacles. They tried to test you, whether it's with other females, test you in an actual job environment, wherever they take. They put you to the test and you excelled it. And now they can't stand it. Okay? That's how. That's basically what I'm trying to say. They didn't think you was going to pass that test that they put you in playing games just came on because they know for a fact they were playing games with you they thought they did it in a way where it was like you're going to be able to um find yourself open up you're going to grow from this we're going to able to be together going to be able to work together but it just made hello it just caused heartache and pain because you grew from it okay and you grew out of their league you grew far out of their league you knew your worth times 10 i'm hearing times a thousand Somebody tried to put you through a test, okay, and that whole time, they was ultimately getting tested by the universe because somebody has some type of control issues, some type of, like, codependency issues, and they don't even see it. Somebody likes to abuse their power and authority. Like, they're meant to be a leader. They're meant to have that authoritative position, but they abuse their power and their authority. They thought they was coming in and going to abuse their power and their authority with you, right, and test you. The universe was testing them. You were their ultimate test. You hear what I'm saying? This person fell right into the bullshit. They own bullshit. Queen of Wands. You hold this shit down. You really that you really that one that they're trying to portray themselves as. You don't even have to do nothing. It just comes by nature and it's stressing them the hell out. Okay? It's stressing them the hell out. Because they see they can't match you. They can't top you. There's no type of, there's no competition. There's no conflict that they tried to put you in. Because this, this is your show. This is your show. You understand what I'm saying? Um, some of y'all is a mother figure. Some of y'all is a wife. Some of y'all is my in the justice system. But whoever this is, they're not going to get the karma that they thought they, they thought they was about to just do something. They were about to get praised and they was about to take off with an opportunity from you is not going to come off that way okay 
it, I mean, it's not going to happen that way. Because they have an ulterior motive. It's not going to happen that way. You're going to detach. You're going to cut the cord. They're about to get some bad karma. Something going on in the justice system with the mom as well, too. Um, Chuck, come in. Yeah, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody's toxic, very toxic. Could have been a Libra in here, burdensome, very burdensome. <sighs> it's all because you decided to end this situation with them, not collaborate with them, but they're full of BS. Like I was trying to say, though, they're trying to push you through these tests, and the universe was testing them to see exactly what they was going to do. They were trying to test your character, test your boundaries, and the universe was testing them. Okay, what type of person are you? Are you really that type of person that's going to really do some evil shit like that just to test this person to see where they stand? You ain't God. Why are you trying to play God? You get it. God is ju God was judging this person. Your, the, their higher source. The higher source. Okay, the most high was testing this person this whole time just to see what they was going to do. Because I feel like somebody did some crazy shit trying to test you. Trying to make you open up and find your voice. The magician in reverse. Yeah, being very manipulative. So they knew your history. They knew what you was about. They studied you. So this person's been studying you for a while. Y'all been dealing with somebody that's very manipulative and been studying and watching you for a while. So they know what you about. They know you have the means to blow some shit off the charts. And the thing is, they do too, but they get it in a fucked up way by manipulating people and using them. Okay, we dealing with a con artist, a mastermind, somebody that's in black magic, somebody that does spell work. Yeah, the truth is, they, they're in competition with you. Five of Wands, Ace of Swords, the truth is, they're in competition with you. They're rallying up people to go against you, trying to test you. Some of y'all is your motherfucking mama. Some of y'all is your wife. Some of y'all is your baby mama. See, the th man, this person is so fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. Cause you know what you about they you really giving and caring and they want that attachment to you but they can't get it they're not getting that cooperation and that attachment that they thought they were about to get to you by manipulating you and using you and playing these tricks on you somebody the real good trickster this is like somebody like like a head like a in the army or like some type of like skilled or organized something and they know exactly what it is that they're doing. They really want a new passion at the beginning with you, okay? So this person is really, like, infatuated with you on a, a, a sexual level. But it's like they can't get to you. They can't have you. They probably already have somebody. But they didn't talk so much shit about you. They tried to manipulate you so much to the point that now they can't even... You get what I'm saying? They're going to be seen as the ones that was the... They, they, their, their real face is going to be shown. So you got to reject them. This person's really depressed because they want you. They made your mind. They, 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 I, who are y'all dealing with? I'm hearing from some of y'all. There's somebody in y'all motherfucking family. Jesus Christ. If it's not that they want you, like in the factuation, they want to work with you and collaborate with you, but they can't because they did so much against you. You get what I'm saying? Somebody was really over here behind. Somebody in your family. What did I say? Somebody really was behind the scenes. It could you have a family with them or you could be in the family with them. Like your brother, sister, auntie, uncle, whatever, whoever. Close friends, whole family. Somebody really was trying to test you. Like, I, I bet this bitch ain't loyal. I bet this nigga ain't loyal. I bet he don't do this. I bet this, this, and that. But the whole time they was getting tested because they true colors were being shown. Y'all get what I'm saying? They was getting tested. I see this person is about to get about to get some money and run off on everybody. Okay, but guess what? That whole time when they was testing you, the universe started putting them through their own tests. You get what I'm saying? So say if somebody was like, I bet she about to get this money. I bet he about to get this money or sign this contract and run off. I'm trying to test you to see what's going on to have rallying up everybody else. The universe might have sent them some money, right? A lump sum of money. And what they do with it, they ran off on it. Y'all get what I'm saying? Right before anything even came to you. So they don't know the universe being and showed they true self. They tested them. They saying, all you was about to do this, baby, not you about to. They got that. And they, look what they didn't do. They didn't tell nobody. They didn't share. You might have got some money, came back around, trying to do something, something, something. You get what I'm saying? 
But the truth is about to come out. I feel like sometimes the truth is about to come out about somebody that caused a lot of drama and conflict. Possibly split a couple up. A divine partnership up. Yeah. With a side piece being jealous. They could even brought the, brought them a side piece. Like, hey, bro, hey, sis, I got this other person for you. Some type of truth is about to come out. It's going to be some type of discussion or verdict or something. Some type of truth is about to come out. And it's about to, this person's true colors is about to be exposed, okay? This person's true colors is about to be exposed. And the universe is saying, you already went through one test with some type of manipulation, okay? You've been seeing what they're about. So now it's time for you to stop ignoring these messages that we're about to give to you, your spirit guides. Be this open channel, then find your voice and speak up. Speak up, because this person is just testing you and manipulating you, and now they're jealous of you because everything they didn't put shoot through a test from. We didn't. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? You didn't pass. Now we about to test their ass, and they're not gonna like it. They got to be coming running back to you. But the thing is, they're not who you're supposed to be with. There's a real divine person that is out there for you that we trying to get you to. The sun, the chariot in reverse, the fool in reverse, the lovers. We've been on the chill. I mean, we've been on the tragedy for months. Why, why can't we just chill for once? Whoever it was you was, you was rejected, you're going to open up to them. So I strongly feel like there was a third party. There was somebody from your past trying to come back in, stir, stir up some BS, and you wasn't going for it. You're not going for it. Now they're about to be pissed off. Because guess what? There's a new lover that is here. There's a new partnership that's here. And now they feel like, God damn, by releasing this person, I done missed out. By testing this person, I done missed out, okay? Could be a Leo, could be a Cancer, could be an Aries, and could be a Gemini in here. Somebody about to get what they want. Now let me get to the actual, that was just a pre-read. Let me get to the actual... See, look, whoever y'all dealing with, they're really lying. They're really not speaking up. That they're not satisfied in whatever situation that they're in. I feel like somebody ultimately wants to be with you or work with you, but they can't. Because they just fucked up so badly. They fucked up badly. Okay. Spirit, give me... one card from this deck can you give me one card please okay you gave me two so I'll take that tune in and connect reconnect with mother nature so it's time for you to tune in and connect reconnect with mother nature move your body um somebody's been stuck in one spot for too long contemplating waiting on what they should do if they should do it now the time is now, okay? It's time for you to tune in and connect with Mother Nature. Because, again, your spirit guides is trying to talk to you. The universe is trying to talk to you. I feel like somebody I'm talking to got more, got some powerful gifts that they're not trying to accept. It's time for you to accept it. Being open channel then came out, okay? Your spirit guides, your ancestors, universe is trying to speak to you in some type of way. But you possibly, let me take me as an example. These last couple of days, y'all see, I ain't getting no um, daily reading. I've been trying to run away from all these messages that I have been getting. Why have I been running away from it? I don't know. I feel like I'm going back to day one where when I first started this and I was like, oh my goodness. I was scared to start it because I started getting so many messages. I'm like, hell no. I didn't know how it was going to be seen, how people was going to perceive me. But fuck how they're going to perceive you. Just do it. Your ancestors and your spirit guides are trying to push you to something greater than you. I feel like whatever it is that you decide to do is going to be bigger than life. It's going to be something that where you're not even going to be able to imagine. Damn, I sat and I waited this long to actually do this. You're going to finally be free. Once you just go with the flow of the of nature and your spirit guides, once you just surrender and accept this change, this transformation, whatever it is that's going on around you. For some of y'all, this, this being free and accepting the fact that these people that you've been dealing with is snakes and just moving on. That's all it's going to take for you to blossom and ex to expand. Because somebody is getting messages and they're, they're trying to turn a blind eye to it. But the universe is trying to, like, pull you back in because you've been off course. I'm going to go back to referencing me. I ain't been trying to really, like, I've been focused on other things. But, y'all, when I say these readings been calling me every single day, every single day, I'm the one that's running from it. 
I don't know why. You feel me? Like, I'm just putting it to a side because I have a lot that's going on. But I thought about all these other weeks where I had a lot going on. I said a little bit in some of these readings, but I didn't say a lot. So right now it's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Whoever I'm speaking to, don't be no, don't be no scary cat. Don't be no wussy like me because there's something bigger that's waiting. There's a new beginning waiting. It can even be somebody that you need to cut off. You need to cut them off. Cut them off. It's okay. I know you're scared. Holding me tight, giving me life. It could be somebody that you was um, intimately involved with. Intimately involved with. That you know that you cannot carry them on to 2022 with you. It could even be family you had a platonic relationship with. But it's something or somebody that you know you need to cut off. It could even be a habit. It's time to cut it off and free yourself. You know you've been getting signs and synchronicities from the universe, from your spirit guides, from your higher self, to be free, to let go, to enjoy yourself, but yet you've been trying to run away from it. Looking at these two ancient people, this is a male and this is a female. Somebody got a, um, uh, a mask. Okay, my alarm went off, so that was somebody got a masculine ancestor and a feminine ancestor that is heavily protecting you that's trying to talk to you right now but somebody is having a hard time accepting because i feel like y'all been dealing with some snakes or some people that's just trying to been trying to one up you and test you and shit see what you're capable of but this whole time them trying to test you and see what you're capable of and how strong you are and all this it just showed them to be fucking pussies you will knock their ass out the fucking waters with whatever it is that you're doing Okay, you more of a woman in a man than these people could ever be. You really the loyal one. You really the one that hold it down. You really the, the trustworthy one. They are being shown as a greedy, selfish, manipulative, evil ass motherfucker. Okay, let's go, Deepa. Spirit, show me what's going on with my collective. I know that's my lover's card. It came out again. Look. Somebody was being very, very deceptive in a bond, in a commitment, in a partnership. It should have been a... See, you and this person could have been running hand in hand. It could have been a soulmate bond. It could have been someone you had a good partnership with. Y'all could have been a business with. Y'all could have been a lover, like I said. But guess what? They fucked it up because they being sneaky and deceptive. They tried to work against you. They tried to test you. They tried to win at all costs. Why? Because they, you started getting ahead of them. You start getting ahead of them. You can't make this shit up. So they're like, hold on. She's not about to win. He's not about to win against me. They're not about to be the bigger one. They're not, they not about to. Somebody said, they're not about to take my spot, my shine. So they start gossiping, <laughs> slandering you, talking shit about you, stealing from you, robbing you, setting you up with false ass people. All the bullshit that they tried to do to try to win at all costs. Look, they didn't even see that there was a divine connection, a divine partnership. The universe was testing their ass with this major arcana, the, the lovers. The universe put them through a test. This is also a choice, the lovers. There was a choice that was supposed to have been made. Somebody did not make the right fucking choice, especially when it came to you. Mm-mm-mm. They fumbled the fucking bag. <laughs> they fumbled the bag. Pussy so good, they said they want some more. Ten of cups, they would have got their ultimate wish for fulfillment when it came to you. Whether it's working with you platonically, intimately, however the fuck it was. They would have they would have got what they wanted. Y'all would have set the, the, the charts off together. However you say it, but they chose to go against you. Two of cups, this is somebody you was in a relationship. Or it just had to do with a partnership. They were supposed to be working with you once again. But they was on bullshit gossiping lying then they want to come apologize because all they did was hurt their ass you then sent somebody through the woodwork somebody tried to test you and send you through the woodwork and put you up in testing do all type of shit y'all y'all didn't beat this motherfucker up spiritually all type of shit i'm just letting y'all know they don't show it but they fucked up they fucked up Two of wands in reverse. They don't know what the fuck to do. They see that they made a fucked up decision, a bad decision when it came with fucking with you. They stuck. They don't know what the fuck to do, where to go. Mm. They said, I'm the devil. Call me Satan. Uh, and they call me, you the devil. When they the true devil, 
you ain't the devil. You just heavily protected. I feel like they ain't never seen nobody as protected as you are. Because I feel like they done went through some bullshit. They even tried to get the devil to come to, to come to you. Guess what? You done slayed that motherfucking demon and devil. You done slayed all that shit. Now they calling you the devil. They said, oh, she must be the devil if she can beat the devil. No, y'all the motherfucking devil. For sure, send the devil and the motherfucking demons my way, bitch. The fuck? You get what I'm trying to say? This is the type of manipulation that they doing. They gonna go work with the devil and the demon and these evil forces to try to come bring you down. And once you slay all these motherfuckers, now, oh, you must be the devil. Because we sent the devil to come fuck you up. And you didn't beat the devil. Like, what? Nah, bitch, I'm heavily protected. Divine protection. Divine intervention. That's what we call that. You the self-centered bitch that's only in it for money. Okay? You the one that's only in it for money and want my money. Want me to splurge. Want me to be upside down. Want me not taking care of business. Clarify this five of swords. The lovers in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all is heavily your motherfucking family. That's holding on to the fact that they want a part of your legacy. They want what you got. They want what you got. They want you sharing with them. They want to leave you in the dark about a lot of shit that they want to run off and do some shit with to you. Out of distance, you got somebody that's really like, y'all, that's holding. Some of y'all, they could even stole some shit from you already. Somebody is trying to play with you. Clarify five of swords and the lovers in reverse. Four, not, that's not four, that's five of cups. Now they ashamed and in regret. We heavily got somebody in somebody's family or a friend. I wanted to say this as well, too, because I'm, I'm going too far. There is a friend, the emperor in reverse and queen of cups in reverse. This man is abusing you. This man is abusing you emotionally and spiritually. Um, whoever this is that's supposed to be in that leadership position, that's supposed to run over you or your boss, your co-worker, whoever the fuck this boss is, this man, this judge, if it's a court situation, it's a judge. They're working off of your emotions. They're manipulating you, this man, whoever the fuck it is. Five, five, five. When I said that, it's gonna be a, cha- it's gonna be some change though. Cause they're trying to fuck with your intuition. They know you're very intuitive. They know you're smart. They know you're a psychic. They know what the fuck is going on. So they're trying to play with you. Somebody is in regret in the shame. That's that tower moment that I was about to say. That motherfucking unexpected change. Five, five, five. I knew. I didn't. I didn't want to put too much pride in it. Cause you gonna get your wish for fulfillment. They about to be upset that they didn't marry you. Somebody about to be hurt and mad that they did not fucking marry you or come into a partnership with your ass. Back to what I was saying about this friend, justice. You getting your good karma. Could be somebody in the justice system. But look, side by side. Could be a Libra. Um, somebody, there's a friend that's been in the middle of this situation watching everything from both sides of the story. And they ready to come step in and tell it all. They're ready to come tell it off because they've been seeing how this person, whether it's a lover or this worker or this boss, that what, what they've been doing behind your back, what they've been saying behind your back, and how they've been acting about you behind your back, acting towards you. You know what I'm saying? How they've been talking. Somebody's ready to spill it all. Let me just say it like that because somebody also sees your, your source. They see what you're about. They, they see the divine power in you. I'm going to just say it like that. Somebody knows your worth, and it's a friend or a relative of this person that's been doing bullshit towards you, okay? And they're ready to come spill it all, and they're ready to come be on your side. They know that this person threw you off balance. They know this person is the cause of this bullshit. But they see what you're about. They see they see right through the bullshit. They see right through it. Okay? They see right through it. And they're ready to tell you everything. Some of y'all, this person wants you. I'm going to just be honest. This person wants you. It's a friend. Secretly. And if this secret is going to come out. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Pisces. The Tower, the Moon. Ooh, it's about to be. Y'all, it's about to come out. It's going to cause the Tower moment. Gonna cause the tower moment. Just know that. Right there again. I knew it was coming. Five, five, five on my screen when I looked up. All right, spirit. Let's get this. Let's just get two more cards and go about my day. <laughs> Cause I'm. It's early, real early. I gotta take my kids to school. Yes. I'm using that right here. It might not. She said you look like. Wow. Okay, so it might be in the car then because it was in my purse. 
Throw this. No, I need this Target receipt. Throw this away for me. Yeah, it's in, um, okay, sorry about that. To be honest, that pl that platonic shit for TV shows, the need to know. Um, somebody is like, we don't, okay, anyway, King of Pentacles in reverse, four of cups. Okay, give me the outcome. Okay, give me the all these distractions. Okay. Just give me the outcome spirit. High priestess in reverse. Okay. So there's somebody that's been... This person. Ever since they've been doing whatever they did to you. And this is just karma for their ass. They've been losing their fucking mind. They've been going broke. They've been losing it. Somebody does not see that they need to stop testing you. Okay. They need to stop testing you. Because whatever it is that they're doing. They're, they're not going to get the payout. Could be a Leo. Okay. Um, something's going to get exposed. Ooh, this is going to get exposed. Okay. Some of y'all, it's a Leo in here. Some of y'all, something's going to get exposed. That there's somebody obsessively stalking and watching a family dynamic. They're broke. That's on the, outs the outskirts. Somebody that got put out of a family dynamic. Somebody's going broke now. Somebody could have got ghosted and they've been sitting here. It could be a father figure. Yeah, usually they ask in the past, leave them out in the cold, but they're obsessively watching you and stalking you, seeing that the emperor in reverse, and that was justice, though. Yeah, this person is losing their fucking mind. That was the magician in reverse, because you're happy and you took a leap of faith in something new. Yeah, so this person, they're, and they're pissed the fuck off because they're not getting their wish for fulfillment, and yet you over here are turning into a star, you're healing, and you see clearly of the bullshit in the black magic and the spell work and bullshit that they've been doing to you. Okay, but look at you. It's not phasing you. You're the Empress, Ace of Wands, and they are hurt because of that, because nothing is coming to them now. So somebody sees through these tactics that they tried to play with you. Okay, somebody could be a very master manipulator. They do this all the time and just know that somebody is born to be greatness. Okay, born to be great. So they that Ten of Pentacles in the very beginning, somebody is stable. So they use manipulation to try to get a hold of them. They try to take their finances, try to make them bad, have them make, them bad, make bad decisions to keep them coming towards them. It could even be a high priestess. A fake spiritualist, okay? It can be anybody. It can be a fucking mechanic that knows you got a lot of fucking money, so they try to keep fucking shit up on your car and making you pay for shit that don't need to get paid for on your fucking car. You get what I'm saying? Because they feel like you have a lack of support or you're fucking stupid. It can even be anything. You get what I'm saying? A plumber or somebody that's just coming in. is more problems. It's more problems. It could be an aunt or an uncle. The truth is going to come out, okay? And somebody that can just that's just trying to run you around and string you along for your money. Because you left them out in the cold and now they're going broke. Or they tried to test you. They thought they were better than you. So they put you through all these fucking tests. It's whatever it is. It's not. Nothing's coming towards them. They're not getting shit out of this. All they got out of this is heartache and pain. Because now they're just sitting up watching you be happy and get what you want. And they're outside cold. Looking in. Obsessed obsessively stalking you they are obsessively stalking you because you're rejecting them because you see how shifty they are they you see that they can't manage shit they they're selfish they're in it for themselves they're unstable they could even be going broke now again they keep going broke and they try to test you so so much that they went broke they went broke trying to test you and also by putting black magic on you because, again, the high priestess in reverse, that's the outcome. But y'all dealing with somebody that tried to keep a lot of secrets from you. But these secrets are coming out. They were very deceptive. They could even did a lot of black magic on you as well. Okay. Clarify this ten of cups. Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. There's going to be some type of message that comes out very, very quickly. Or some there, somebody's going to be, like, taken off quickly. Somebody took off very, very quickly. And somebody does not understand how. Okay, they don't understand how. How was this person able to get out of this grip that I put them in? Get out of this spell work that I put them in? Somebody's put some spell work on somebody that's very intuitive. Okay, we have somebody that's a fake hype priestess out here that thought they thought they was God. Did not know they were fucking with a star seed, a, a chosen one. Somebody that was very intuitive. They put a lot of spell work on you. 
okay? And you got out of that shit. That shit didn't really phase you. You knew what was going on, but it did not bring you down how they thought they was, it was going to bring you down. Somebody thought for a fact they were about to keep you out of a marriage or a commitment. Someone's ultimate goal or somebody really wants to be married. They thought they were about to set you up with all these karmics and just keep you in a stalemate, put a lot of spell work and gossip on you, bring your name down, your character down. They thought they were going to assassinate your character. They assassinated them own, their own, them, them own fucking selves by dibbling and dabbling in something that they should not be fucking with. And that's you. That's your essence. What they also call is your Akasha Records. They should have never been in that shit. Okay? Somebody does not understand how you took off and you healed temperance how you healed from this mental entrapment that they put you in someone also is so, so fucking confused because they did not realize major kind of temperance you are a fucking angel now they are fucking pissed off they're in this mental entrapment you are the real high priestess they're the fake one clarify ten of cups Page of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles. This is also somebody in your family, right? Somebody was saying how you was going to do this and you were going to do that with some money. Remember, I brought up money in the beginning. It was for a reason because I seen it already in my head and all these Pentacles were coming out the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody in your family that was like, yeah, this person's going to get some money and just ghost everybody. Remember, I said that? Now, this person is in the mental entrapment because guess what? Some of y'all got some money and went back to family. Hello, mental entrapment. You went back to family. Guess what this person did? They got money. They made bad de business decisions and fucking rejected their family. They didn't do what they had to do. They came back when they was broke. You came back with the bag. They came back when they was broke. Big difference. Now this, this person is about to get rejected. How they, ch they have to have everybody else reject you. Th whoever this is that's doing black magic. Okay, we have an evil bitch in here. She could even be a father figure. Y'all have an evil ass father or mother somebody but guess what their father or their mother their ancestors some of y'all this might people pass is watching over this whole situation watching over this whole situation <laughs> i forgot it was a mother and a father a man and a woman hello well they thought they were about to judge you they are fucking getting judged by the people that above them you don't need no other body somebody is heavily fucking protected don't even fucking know about it. But yeah, they want you to open up to them. Now that they're getting a wish for fulfillment, they're not using their intuition with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all is a mother. Right when I said it's a mother, the Empress in reverse is a mother, a wife, your baby mother, whoever this person is, you gotta cut them the fuck off because they're not nourishing the situation like they're supposed to. They're not taking care of it. They're nagging. They're controlling. They're a bitch. Yeah, then we got King of Swords in reverse and Strength in reverse. Some of y'all is a Libra, it's a Leo. Some of y'all, they're some manipulate, they're manipulating the fuck out of you. Back to the beginning. They're manipulating the fuck out of you so you will not find the courage and the strength to move forward from them. They need you so that they can have some type of connection to your money, to your fame, to your clients, to whatever. They're manipulating the fuck out of you so you will not move forward. They want you to be weak. We heavy black magic in this bitch. Okay? And slander. We got somebody that's working with a lot of people with that five of wands and five of swords that came out. They are like rallying up people to go against you. And it ain't gonna motherfucking work. Somebody is very powerful to the point that we got somebody that's so pissed off that they can't defeat you. That they got everybody else. They, it's a whole campaign for you. Like, what? And you over here can care less. Like, can you please leave me the fuck alone? I can care less about you. I don't think about you. I don't even give a fuck about what it is that you're doing. So why why are you, somebody's like, why are you so worried about me? They not protected, though. Oh, <sighs> shit. Strongly be a Leo in here. We have all them other signs, too. With the High Priestess, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Gemini. Clarify Four of Cups and King of Pentacles in reverse. The Lovers and King of Wands. There go this. It could be a Gemini. This could be your bond. This could be a... This is a bond. This is a commitment. Mm. 
some of y'all, this is somebody you've been dealing with. There's an ultimate choice that needs to be made when it comes to this person, although whoever this person is, because I feel like whoever this person is that's staring up the drama, they use their looks. Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. Seven, King of Pen- Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry, Knight of Cups in reverse. Jealous as fuck. Very, they do it really smooth. That's what I was about to say. They do it really, really smooth. With the King of Wands, they use their image. They're a smooth cat. But they're deceptive as fuck. Seven of Swords in reverse. Deceptive as fuck. What's this poking out? The Empress in reverse. Somebody in your family. You need to go do some healing when it comes to this person. Do some introspection. I feel like you need to go get some answers. Do some soul searching. The universe is trying to give you some answers about this person. Person, whether you have a relationship with them, you're in a relationship with them, or you kind of go into some type of partnership with them, or if this is somebody of a, a wise counsel to you, who, however that goes with anybody. It could be a guru, it could be a, a, a therapist, it could be a fucking spiritual coach, whoever this person is. Somebody need to pay attention. Clarify four of cups, king of cups in reverse. For some of y'all, this person is trying to keep you away from your divine partner. Yeah, you're going to have to release them. You got to release it and move forward. Somebody sees that somebody is making a bad decision. Somebody is trying to cause some stagnation and procrastination with you and your person. Somebody is supposed to be married. I'm going to just say it like that. Somebody is supposed to marry somebody. This person or these people fucked it up. They want you to yourself, to themselves. Three of Pentacles. Where did that just go? They want you... To work with them. They want you to work with them. But you detached from them and you took a break. Oh my goodness. Queen of Wands in reverse. King of Pentacles. Y'all got an evil ass person that has a lot of money that just does shit. But they're going broke. Because they're running out of money and resources trying to stop you. Y'all got... I feel like I'm talking to somebody too that's like... You seem like... To you, you feel like you're smaller than this person. Like, and you may be smaller than this person. Like, this person could be, like, in a high political, like, stint or a high ranking or something. But you don't even know how powerful you are because this person knows how powerful you are because they're trying to test you and they're trying to bring you down. And you're fucking them over. Whoever this is, this could even be somebody in your family, an older sibling or a younger sibling that just feel like they got control over these people. They're more smooth cat than you. But whatever it is that you're doing, your spirit guys got your back and you fucking them over mentally and spiritually. They, they're not showing it as much, but you are killing their ass. They know that you are powerful. I'm just saying that they know that you are powerful. Whatever devilish activities that they, they're trying to show, send your way, whatever it is that they're trying to toxicity that they're trying to put in your path is getting stopped they gotta release it they're getting fucked up nine of wands they're getting fucked up this is a wounded person they're gonna have to stop the only thing they can do is try to help you and collaborate with you now for some of these people they're like whoa i can't even fucking i can't tap this i'm trying to send this person through the ring the, the runners and they send me through the runners like whoa shit clarify the high priestess in reverse Clarify the high priestess in reverse. That's the outcome. Four of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person was not using their intuition because they thought that you was about to be stuck in one spot. Four of cups, four of pentacles. Look, they thought they was about to do a depression spell on you or some old shit. You're going to be in one spot. You coming up out of that shit. You coming up out of that shit. You coming up out of that shit. You not depressed. You're not sitting in one spot no more. Whatever they did ain't going to work. It ain't getting nowhere. It ain't getting nowhere. That shit ain't doing shit. It ain't phase you. Clarify the high priestess in reverse. All you did is you seen through their tactics. You seen what was going on. King of Pentacles again. I seen the sun wanted to come out. This is whoever this is that got this money, okay, or whatever. You see right through it. My my nail, my toenails are a little chipped. So <laughs> you see right through it. The high priestess in reverse again. These secrets is coming out. Nine of Wands, this person is getting their ass tapped, ass beat. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. Y'all see what the fuck this is about. This person ain't using their intuition when it comes to you and the resources that they are spending on you and what they're doing with their money and some more shit. They trying to fuck you over and they getting fucked up. Five of Wands, Queen of Swords in reverse. Hello, this person is trying to fuck you up. Five of Wands keep you in this conflict, keep you in competition with them, and they getting fucked up. 
All you doing is getting good news in the end. They don't understand how. Hey, so cuz, you still going to get that marriage and commitment back to what I was saying in the beginning. Okay, now let me get some cards on my deck so I can get up out of here because you can't make this shit up. Okay, show me what's going on. Inner child. Yeah, you have to heal your inner child. Could be a Pisces in here. There goes that higher commitment. Some of y'all the police in here. They wiretapped you. Some of y'all ain't even police that wiretapped you. It's your motherfucking ex-spouse or your family that then wiretapped you or this boss or whoever. You wiretapped. They, they, they're obsessively stalking, stalking you by any means. So now they need to wiretap your shit to keep tabs on you. You're going to get some type of clarity. It's going to come out. These motherfuckers is your frenemies. They've been manifesting your money this whole time. Trying to heat that connection and that bond to you for your money. It's time for you to five of cups in reverse. Leave the past behind. Some of you guys really want to call them. Or text them. Oh, boy. But some of y'all need to get it checked up. Put it on me. Because why? Wow, you might be pregnant. That's why I said some of y'all might want to call them or text them. Somebody might find out they motherfucking pregnant. Go get a checkup. Go get that checkup. They've been following you. Page of swords, obsessively stalking you. You wiretapped. This is like the feds, too. If it ain't the feds, it's your motherfucking love. We got a lover that's stalking somebody. Somebody got... Somebody was dealing with the King of Pentacles. That's why this family did not want you to be with this person. Because this person got money. They've been having private investigators stalk you and your motherfucking family. Some of y'all is a friend that want to be with you. And they've been having, they got money to the point that they spent a lot of money watching you and gathering information up on you. And guess what they see now, you loyal. They probably was listening to this person in the beginning, but now they see God on this person loyal. All we did was share a good fucking memory, a lot of good memories. Some of y'all, it's okay to cry and believe. Cause the street, I feel like the streets got show back more than anything. They see through all the bullshit. And I feel like for somebody, the fact is here, this person may not know that you had, they had a private investigator around you. They're still trying to slander you, but the proof is in the pudding. Like somebody is upset because they turned on somebody that was supposed. Somebody is upset because I feel like truly, strongly, somebody turned on somebody that they see that they should have been working and collaborating with. And now they, now they want to come back and offer you a new beginning. Whether it's you or them, I don't fucking know, y'all. Show me what's going on. Hello. What I've been saying, you are protected. Don't trust it. Don't trust them. You heavily protected. They want to send you this apology and say, I'm sorry. It has a lot to do with social media. Excuse me. Use your intuition. What I've been saying that the high priest me came out a lot and it has something to do with a Scorpio. All right. Don't trust that this person just trying to bring you blockages and disturbances. Keep it on the low. Hello. Somebody's been hiding evidence as well. There's a doppelganger in here too. They're trying to kill you and sacrifice you harm you they're gonna be running away with the lover that's a that's a twin too so they could have been using the doppelganger okay fake accounts hitting this king of pentacles up as you to the point that they could have been spending money and stealing money from you this person had to go hire the private investigator and finally they gonna come out they were never even talking to you it wasn't even dealing with you they were dealing with a doppelganger this whole time somebody was in your oh shit y'all they got that childhood memories again in it Oh, shit. Somebody could dinner date. They've been wanting to take you on a dinner date, but now somebody's in competition with you. There's a family member or friend in competition with you. They're about to have to pay back whatever they took. What, didn't I say it? Somebody got money and got a private investigator in on this, and they know exactly who took this shit. Whoo, they're about to have to pay that shit back. Could be an Aquarius in here. You are being divinely guided. This person is coming back. Watch your food and drinks around your family and these family, these friends. Try yoga to get the stress off of you because they in it for themselves. See, somebody done stole some big money. They know that this person was coming in to bring the Ten of Pentacles with you. Y'all was going to be set for life. So they did anything. Somebody got somebody that's rich and will, got some money that want them because it possibly went to their family trying to talk to them, trying to get them in on this, trying to set up, set you, set them. They've been trying to set up some shit with you behind the scenes. 
y'all got some jealous ass people behind the scenes that came up with a master plan what they was gonna do with you they getting their ass fucked up because somebody got money and somebody got resources and they know exactly who stole the money who been lying who been a doppelganger and all of that okay some of y'all fucking with a high spiritualist that is money hungry scamming and scheming people they scammed the fuck out of your ass. They did a lot of black magic and spells to keep you isolated from other people, to keep you in karmic relationships, because they knew for a fact your divine partner was somebody rich. Some of y'all, this divine partner is somebody that they work with, that they didn't, they talked about you to the right person, and they want to, they, they're jealous of you now. Okay, take what fits, leave the rest. I'm, there's so many situations, y'all, in this situation, how it can go. Jealousy and envy and trying to test somebody, they get, ooh, y'all. I want to pull a couple. Let me just pull a couple more, y'all. Let me just see because somebody illegal dealing. You can't make it up. Side piece. Okay, keep going. Somebody is wiretapped. Somebody has an investigation going on in them. Conflict spill. What did I say? Okay, drink more water. Could be dealing with a Virgo. They talking behind your back. Everything I've been saying. Okay, somebody tried. They they tried to put you out. They somebody tried to put you out. Okay. They they tried a lot, wasted a lot of money and resources trying to put you out and keep you away from this rich person. Okay, they went spiritually, they went emotionally, they went physically, they went through it all trying to take you out. And they about to get took out. Y'all, I'm about to get out of here. I love y'all so much. Y'all gonna have a reunion with this person, though. Just know that. It just puts y'all closer and closer. I been getting a lot of readings like this, though, because... We protected over here. Okay, that's what we about because we do the right thing. Okay, we get some karmas that come through here. But the karmas, when you come through here, you get told about yourself. So it's just either you're going to keep watching me and be on my channel. It's going to force you to do the right thing. You get what I'm saying? We all done been there and done that. Okay, we all have karma. We all have karma, whether it's from a past life or this life. But like I was saying, we protected over here. These people don't understand that. They don't understand that. So they're going to have to go through some bullshit. They're going to have to go through some bullshit for the bullshit that they put you through. I love y'all so much. Take care.